yeah, there's all kinds of way where you can get some horrific injuries that need to be repaired for a view and because, aesthetically. For example, we've had a, a person brought into care many, many years ago. This was that uh, was severed in half, so that was. Like through the torso. So Tor basically you got a body bag with two bits. We've got this gap of organs and bones and everything's cut in half. We've got bacteria building up, decompositions building up. And because when you have such horrific injuries, decomposition sets in very fast because the bacteria is exposed. Yeah, so yeah. it's all exposed. So we've got to deal with stopping the decomposition long enough for the family to have their view. And it all has to be tread and it all has to be sealed and sutured, you know. We've slowed that decomposition down as much as we can, long enough for me to finish doing the recon. And so the next bit is to suture the body back together. So baseball sutures, they're the strongest suture you can have. It's no good doing fancy little invisible sutures because they're not very good and we're not gonna see this area. We need it to be strong and tight and usually double or triple the thread. So I'm gonna deal with the head first, which the head was, um, off at one side here but the face was intact so there was no reconstruction of the face which was great so it's basically there was a big uh, piece out here which was still attached a bit so again quartering and making sure disinfectant and did everything to stop all that injecting the embalming chemical and then sealing them areas and bringing the head but I have to say that it was right through into the skull so the brain was exposed so and our brains <laughs> when they're not being embalmed or treated are like jelly so again i've got gauze to push everything back in and seal it with a pad and then bring the head and suture this back up and cover it so it's just it's just a lot of intricate work and a lot of work where you just got to make sure every little thing you do is to stop the leak, stop the blood and stop the smell. It was a really tough case and all in all it took me I think four days altogether to complete that reconstruction so the family could have their viewings.